Hi, I'm Amanda Cavallaro, a developer advocate at Vonage. Today, I'll show you how to create a Chrome extension to hide your API keys on the Vonage dashboard. The knowledge you get from this video will give you the foundation to build other Chrome extensions. What is a Chrome extension? It is a software program that allows you to extend the Chrome functionalities and change your browser's experience. An extension can be built with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the manifest.json file from your computer. To build our Chrome extension, let's start off by creating the folder that will contain the Chrome extension files. Create a folder in your computer and give it a name you like. For instance, mine is Chrome-extension. Let's then create the file that tells your program the function to be executed. To do so, from your terminal, you can type touch manifest.json or from your IDE, you can click the button to create a new file and name it manifest.json. Let's populate it with the required information. Name is how the Chrome extension is called and how its name will appear. Description describes what the Chrome extension does. Version is the current version of your extension. If you make changes to it, you can bump that version number. Author should contain the name of the Chrome extension creator. Manifest version specifies the version of the manifest JSON used by this extension. At the time of creating this video, the latest one is 3. Content scripts are files that can make changes to the DOM and pass information to the extension. In this example, we would like our script to match the page dashboard.nexmo.com and any of its subpages. We are going to state the logic to be followed on the file index.js. Let's then create this bootstrap file. From your terminal, you can do so by typing touch index.js. In order to have a Chrome extension, you can create and call a function, and its functionalities will be applied to the browser once you import this Chrome extension. This function will create an alert that will pop up only once. Let's import those two files you've created and add them as a Chrome extension to your browser. Open the Chrome browser, navigate to Chrome colon slash slash extensions, click on the developer mode on the top right to enable it, click load unpacked on the top left, and the file uploader tool will open. Search for where you created the folder, in my case Chrome extension, in your computer. Click on it and finally click the select button. You can see a new Chrome extension called API Key Hider was created as it was specified in the name property of the manifest.json file. Make sure that this extension is enabled. Now that the Chrome extension is loaded to your browser, you can see that alert functionality happening only once. When we load the Chrome extension, we usually want the functionality to repeat. To do so, we can set an interval of 10 milliseconds so that this functionality repeats itself. Let's create a function called Blur API Keys that will no longer have any alerts. We will use document.querySelector and document.querySelectorAll to find the HTML elements that contain the API key and the API secret keys. Finally, we will add the blur of 20 pixels to these elements using CSS styling and set interval to call the blur API key function every 10 milliseconds. We now reload the Chrome extension to make sure it's working as expected. To test it out, you can navigate through the pages of the Vonage dashboard and you'll see your API keys are hidden. Today we created the Chrome extension to hide your Vonage API keys. Now that you understand how to create, import and enable your Chrome extension, you can let your creativity flow and create many more extensions.